afternoon everyone. Lisa here from Shady Tree Stitches and welcome to floss tube number 26. I can't believe how quickly the time is flying and all these episodes are cranking up but here we are at number 26. Might have to do another giveaway soon. Um, I was going to film a bit differently this week. I actually went down and spent a night with my friend Jenny, another Shady Tree Stitcher, but uh, we ran out of time to film so it's just me again. But that's okay, I have more than enough to share with you. So I have been busy, busy, busy stitching and busy, busy, busy shopping. I've got a lot of haul, quite a few deliveries have come in that I ordered up to a few months ago. Um, plus I found a couple of really cool shops down in Sydney when I was there. But more about that later. So I have been stitching a lot since I saw you. Um, since I filmed the last one... I'm honestly not sure where, whether I did those ones in the video or not. So I'm going to start with the first thing that I did, which was ran a virtual stitches event. Um, we've just changed the format on virtual stitches thanks to technology. So now we do it on Zoom, which is great. You can have up to 25 people on the um, video at once. So please check us out, virtual stitches on Facebook, and come and join us. Just jump on and stitch with some real people. Although they laugh at me because I call them my imaginary friends. So anyway, we did a challenge yourself sal where you had to stitch on something that was challenging. And I was working on my chatelaine. And I stitched, oh it was previously looked like this. But I stitched on it and I actually did 543 stitches. And now it looks like that. And this poor chatelaine's had bad luck from the beginning because it had um I picked the wrong colour. But I'm learning, that's why it's a challenge me, Sal. So my chatelaine is progressing. I don't do it much, but I will continue with it a bit more. The next thing I worked on was Summer. Summer from the Cricut Collection. Now Summer from the Cricut Collection, oh, and I should say my chatelaine I was able to do for um, 30 minutes free stitch on something that was re I found relaxing, because I think you'd have a, um, a massage in a place like that if you're over in Asia and also um, R for Ruth for the 24-hour challenge. Okay Summer. Summer from Cricut Collection previously looked like this and I did um, 30 minutes of 100 stitches of own choice. I did another 168 stitches not sure what for and then I revisited it just this week for Magical Stitches for S project that started with the word letters from rules or strict, I forget which, but summer definitely does. So you can see we've got that there and we've got one M done and almost another M. So that's summer from the Cricut collection going really well. Um, really enjoying stitching that, so I'll look forward to doing a bit more on that as the need arises. Um, that was... The next thing I had to stitch on was the farmhouse one. So I must have, um, I don't know if I started this since I saw you. I know I had a finish from this one last, last time, but I was busy doing more homework for this one. Um, I was using it for, you, you saw this one that we'd done, the U for the Ute. But then I stitched on it a bit more for, um, I worked on the Dairy Darling, which was a new start. Um, and we actually got a finish. Yay, another finish. So my featured piece for this, this week is this one, Dairy Darling. So they're all individual pieces. Um, I'm doing them as nine separate pieces, but I'm gonna quilt them together into one. So this one was 30 minutes um, stitching because it has a face and the cow has a face. I did it for a thousand stitches for um, Stitches Games, something to do with that had an animal in it. And I also did a thousand stitches for the School of Magical Stitches, year long extra credit, um, because it is an animagi. So one of those animals is bound to be a wizard that's turned into it. So that got it to finish. So that was really good, really exciting to have that done. I have continued. To progress with my hate. I am finding, to be honest, the 25 count is a little bit of a struggle. Um, 
but it looked like this previously and now after working on it every day it looks like that but you can see I'm starting to get a lot there's a whole bunch of sort of whitey stitches around here I did yesterday so I'm starting to feel like it's looking like something I think it's just hard when you're starting confetti but I am finding it hard but um my light that I've got here I'll show you in a minute has a magnifier which might help because the glasses I find I can't wear the bigger ones um, too close they they uh, it just doesn't work properly with my eyesight so that's my hate and I've worked on that basically every day um, used it for the 30 minutes a day challenge some days I only get like 29 stitches but when you're changing colors and doing it small that's what happens um, and then I worked on Alice now Alice has filled in for a lot of things. She actually came back for a revisit after I worked on her too, um, because Alice has fitted into a lot of different um, homework tasks from different places this week. Um, for, she previously looked like this. School of Magical Stitches. School of Magical Stitches, I had to do homework, just 200 stitches on, um, Oh, I don't even remember what it was for this week. I should remember. I've only just done it. Um, oh, pink. Pink, because it's all about Dolores Umbridge. And she loves pink. So I did all, got all the way down to the bottom of her dress. Which is great to know how far I've gone. And then I also worked on her um, for some other things. And I filled in the green on her dress. So, yes. Done a lot on Alice. Um, for a couple of different things. But yeah, I'm slack and I forgot to write down what it was for, um, other than the pink for Umbridge. But yeah, so did that, really loving the progress on her. Um, didn't realise I enjoyed doing a Nora Corbett or a Mirabilia quite as much as I am. So that was Alice. Um, I've actually been slack and I haven't even added up my stitches for this week. Oh well, you'll just have to live. Um, okay, biggest thing I worked on this week was actually my fairy tale cell from the... Um, Cross Stitcher magazine. This is the piece I put myself back into kindergarten for at the beginning of the year when I started restarted stitching. And I thought, oh, I'll just do a sal. I'll just do one little person a month and that'll be great. Yeah. Well, I'm pleased to say I'm up to date with her. I've worked on her for many things. She was, um, because the designer had the letters from the word strict and the designer's name has it starts with S. Um, and then they made my day because they said that we could do something to do with um, tea, but we could do with something that makes tea and this has roses. So previously looked like this and now I've done all this. So you can see we've got all these different things done. The whole top half, first six months, totally done, totally beaded down to the middle and all the in-between bits done too. And I've just started working down here on Snow White. So yeah, so 250 stitches had to do with bubbles for 30 minutes a day. And all those beads, I had to do 500 stitches to do with bubbles. So I did 240, uh, 250 beads I added on in the various places that I had to do. I've seen Ariel and um, Alice. And another 250 in normal stitches. Also for magical stitches, had to do monthly um, 500 to do with the spheres. And as well as all the beads, like there are all these circles in the frames, so hopefully that fits really well for that. Um, I did something for 30 minutes a day that had hair and a free stitch um, for the calendar. It was because it was Friendship Day on the 30th of July and the 11th was Cheer Up the Lonely Day. So used it for two 24 hour challenges. Um, so I did a lot on that. So I think that's all the stitching I've done. Um, quite a lot and quite diverse this week which you know it's making it a bit more challenging for me got projects left right and center but that was great a good way to spend my holiday didn't do as much as I want oh I have also started stitching again um, the current pop-up challenge for magical stitches whoops you're probably gonna drop down there um, is I have to do how many stitches I want on any project um, to do with a career choice so We've decided I'm a seer, I can see into the future, um, and I'm working on the um, Sal, the love story Sal from, um, from, from the Ship's Manor, 
and um, I'm up to the fifth panel out of the six. So in this panel, they've you know they've met each other, they've got married, they've moved into the house, they've had kids, and now they're getting old. So you can't see much yet, but that's where I'm up to today. So I've been able to use that for some of this week's 30 minutes a day challenges already. Um, I think I did a free stitch and I know I have to stitch in my favorite color and something to do with tan. So I'll be able to get quite a few done out of that one too. So I think that's all my stitching. Um, that's not bad. 10 minutes just on stitching. But now I'm gonna start my haul. My haul, I've been a bad, bad girl. Well, not really. But everything is just coming to in at once. So I I did an order from JK's and I um, got a few things I'd been waiting on. Um, my new Lowry stand, which I love. It's fantastic. And I'll show you it at the end because I'll turn the camera around. I've actually made my own little stand holder for it because um, everyone says theirs aren't particularly good. But in preparation for my year of starts next year that I'm doing in some format, I have got Cure et Batacure's Lavender Farm. Isn't that just so cute? Sorry about the brightness, but I thought I'd film now while it was light. And also the Needlework Village. Aren't they just gorgeous? So two really cute patterns there that I got from JK's. Um, she really does great service and I got to actually see see her, her, her house slash shop. She works from home and she just provides a really great service to Australians with um, you know, almost wholesale prices. And then as I said, I went to Jenny's place and she gave me two patterns, um, Christmas patches. These may get started this year. There's a whole bunch of little ones like ornaments. And also because today was the Virtual Stitches Ink Circles event, I didn't have any ink circles charts. And Jenny had one she didn't want, so she gave it to me. So this one's called Bloomers. I do not like the colors at all, but I don't mind the flowers. But I decided I didn't want to start something new. So that's in the to be done later pile too. Um, I also got my delivery came through. I <laughs> should just say, I'm on virtual stitches at the moment. They're watching me do the filming. I got some new fabric from um, Color Cascade Fabrics. Some of them came in. This one is brown sugar and it's a 32 count. And it's really beautiful coloring. It's for one of my Mirabilias. And this one is called Oasis, also a 32 count um, Lagana. So beautiful motley hand dyed patterns. So yeah. Got them and a couple of her little um, well, these ones are for like little smalls of my little sample of cuts, which are quite nice. So um, that was really quite exciting. And I've got two more pieces I ordered that haven't actually come in yet. But I didn't realise how long her her things take to come. So um, I have to make sure I order a long time in advance before I want things. And while I was down in Sydney, went to Daiso, really cool shop. Um, they didn't exactly have what I wanted, but I got these sort of pencil case A4 size ones. So got a couple of different ones of them to be new project bags, four of them, which is really exciting. But my biggest exciting haul, I think that's all. Oh, and I also got myself a little, just a cute little notion bag. We are stars that shine indefinitely, good friends. You make me so happy, good friends. So you can see you've got the front and the back of them. It's very cute. I'm liking cutesy things or more and more the more I'm in this community. So I went shopping at, um, found a craft shop that's um, called Stitch in Willoughby, which used to be the Mossman Mia workshop, but it's moved to Willoughby. It was gorgeous. So I'm gonna post a photo of the shore here beautiful people fantastic range lovely stock i just bought a couple of needles and a couple of basic threads i didn't want to spend money there at the time just wanted to see what they had um also went to the fox collection um shop in forestville um and i did buy one little kit there but i don't know where i put that so 
I'll show you that another time. I was very restrained, didn't spend money there either. But the shop in the middle, I spent a lot of money on. There's a shop that is in Sydney, has three stores, and it's called Stitch and Time, um, no, Sewing Basket. Sewing Basket, and it's actually run by a charity, and the idea is when someone dies, and they've got all their stitching supplies, no one knows what to do with it, you donate it to these shops, and then they on sell them. So it's like a, a thrift store just for sewing supplies. Oh my goodness, I was in heaven. So, I got a heap of things. A heap, a heap, a heap of things. At such good prices, so I spent a lot, but not really a lot. So, we got for $3 another one. This is the Windermere Angel for my Marbeck collection. This was um, Hartzell. Cute little pattern. I'm trying to find some quick and easy things as well as big things. I've got some big things on order. Um, Cricut Collection Alphabet. Um, Noah's Needle by Just Nan. I do like the band samplers. Shepherd's Bush, English Garden. This one's a real Australian one, Australian Outback House, series number two. So I'm not sure if it's just got that one or if it's got the other ones too. But a um, bunch of nice, really easy designs. Nice little house one. Good Christmassy one, 50 Santas to cross stitch. That they look cute. A whole bunch of different ideas, different Santas coming very handy if I decide to do Flossmas or something this year. Oh yeah, look, $2 for beading needles. Brand new. Now these ones I talked down to a dollar. These are little tiny shepherd's bush. I've got the root garden. Some little smalls. And sweet nothings. Little happy birthday one. Get it to zoom in on you. Bluebells. Friendship. Dear friend. A bridal wreath. A daughter and then two dollars butternut robe feathers and friends two dollars unheard of and another one also for two dollars the Christmas tree lavender and lace that's so me two dollars wow uh, got a little quilty one, my grandmother's garden. Another little shepherd's bush one. Cherry heart. And then for my friend Susie. So if you're watching, got this one for Susie. She loves birds and she loves greenery. Owls. And a kit, Juniper Designs. Now some people have been asking from all these houses that Susie and I are doing. I honestly don't know where you buy Juniper Designs from anymore. You just have to Google it. Um, they're they're out of print. They don't exist, and so they're they're in Australia. I, I have Googled and found them in a few Australian shops. Um, so you just have to um, just have to do that. So we have got um, a lovely kit from Juniper Designs. It's an alphabet sampler, home sampler. Isn't that gorgeous? And it comes with a piece of linen. And all the threads, eight dollars. Can you believe it? I, I feel like I'm quoting all the floss tubers. I just can't. I just can't believe it. Amazing. So that was um that was my haul of patterns. And then I really wanted fabric. So I got some. I got this bluish color Ada, sixteen count. Two meters for forty dollars, and they had some DMC threads. I've got some standard colors, fifty cents each. Amazing, but that 
that's not all. Because you might be learning I'm a bit of a bow bird. So I got fabric. I got some easy grit 11 count. So we're doing some full coverage on. I got a 32 count linen, eight bucks, 28 count, another 28 count. I got this one to match that funny fabric that I did um, the prairie school on. Another 28 count linen. Another big piece, this one. 54 by 136. Beautiful linen. And another big piece, 110 by 86 linen. Some more of this gorgeous 14 count Ada, which is what I'm doing the autumn smalls on. Two packets of that. Needed some more of that. Another beautiful 28 count. And then, I think because my eyesight's going bad, so I didn't really buy much 32 because it seemed too small and I didn't want to make the mistake of buying 40 or anything really ludicrous. So I ended up with quite a bit of 25 count. Um, but I'm sure that would come in handy. So that one, that one, little one. Then this big one. This one was $15. A meter by 140, 25 count. Gorgeous. Um, nice brownie color. An even nicer brownie color. And just a creamy color. So all up, I did spend a fair bit of money. Um, but I got all that for, for just around $200. So that was a lot of money. A lot of money to spend, but it was um, really good that it was done. And um, wow, bargain city. So I'm um, expecting a few more parcels, so it's not quite the end of all my parcels. But that's um, that's basically, I think, my haul. I don't know. Like, oh, no, it's not. I'm beginning the most important things. Bear with me. i got to manoeuvre things. Too many piles of things to hold on to at the moment. So... I did, as I said, get my delivery from Janet, which happens to be my birthday present. So, sorry, I'm just going to point out to you, I got my Lowry. I'm loving my Lowry. And I just wanted to show you what I did. See this bulldog clip here? It just clips on. Straight onto the Lowry frame right there. See, perfectly clips. I've added a needle minder onto there. And all I do, this might be a bit hard for me to manage with one hand, but all I do is put that bit of cardboard with a pattern in front of it. And my Lowry stand has a groovy, groovy pattern holder. And this is what I was talking about. I need to um I need to utilize this. I think that will help me to actually be able to see my 25 count and then all those pieces of 25 count are just me so awesome so that is basically it I am on um as I said I am on virtual stitches we are always keen to um have more people look I'll give you a quick quick fling around see if they can see me hold on I'm gonna unmute get them to wave at you where are they Hey guys, wave at the camera and say hello. Meg. Nope. <laughs> they're not they're not waving at you. But anyway, I was hoping they'd come up. <laughs> so um anyway, as I said, oh hold on, there they are. See look. Hi. Hold on, you gotta talk so it's fixed on you. There we are, that's Stitching May. We got Kerry, a couple of other people at the top. There's Michelle, she doesn't do floss tube. And um, Sammy J as well is hiding at the moment. So um, come and join us. We love having new people. We can have up to 25 people that we can talk to at once now on virtual stitches. So just jump on and if no one's there, put a message on and if someone's free, they'll jump on and you'll have real people to stitch with. I've learned so much from chatting to the people around the world. Um, 
it's really great to meet lots of like-minded people. So, as I said, thank you for watching, staying up with me. Um, my plans. Well, my plans are run by homework. Um, my plan for today is to keep doing as many stitches as I can. I'm going to put a plea out there. Hufflepuff stitches, please submit your homework. We keep coming last, and we don't like coming last, but we don't want to put pressure on anyone. That's the joys of being Hufflepuff. We're just so friendly and so kind, but still, we don't want to lose all the time. So um, if you're a Hufflepuff stitcher, every stitch counts. You get partial credit. You can even stitch something that doesn't fit, and they still give you partial credit. So please just do a bit of work, and it'd be awesome. I know most of you are doing it. You're just not posting it. So you know, do a bit for the team. We really, really would like to move up the ladder. So enjoying all the groups. So, um, yeah, Magical Stitches, 24-hour challenge. There'll be another 24-hour event in the middle of August. Um, the 24-hour and 48-hour marathon hasn't been announced as such yet, but it will happen. So I'll be participating in that. I'll be running a Challenge Yourself Sal sometime um, on Virtual Stitches. And um, I'm also still working on Shell's 30-minute a day group and the um, full coverage fanatics stitch on your head every day. Semi Sane stitches do 1200 stitches on your full coverage. So lots and lots of things to keep me busy. Plus school goes back this week. So um, it's <laughs> that's gonna keep me the busiest. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to join me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I am still looking for more Foster channels to watch. So if you have a channel and I don't know about it yet, please write your channel name below. I'd love to check you out. And um, most importantly, keep stitching and having fun. Bye.